All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, so this is a review of the Klein CL800 multimeter. Uh, I bought this about three or four years ago. Uh, I am a appliance service technician. Uh, I also do refrigeration. Uh, I've done HVAC. I've done plumbing, electrical. I've done quite a bit. Uh, but right now, I enjoy being... Mostly I'm a refrigeration technician. Uh, work on Sub-Zeros. I work for an authorized company for Sub-Zero. <clears throat> so I get all their training, which has been very beneficial. Now, this meter has been a great meter. Uh, it goes on Amazon for about right around 100, 110 bucks, something like that, give or take. Uh, I think when I bought it, it was like 130 What's cool when I bought it on Amazon, actually, is uh, they had same-day delivery, which was pretty neat. Anyways, uh, so <clears throat> this is a great multimeter if you are starting out uh, as an appliance service technician. Don't buy a cheap multimeter. You're going to screw yourself over. And I do mean that literally. You are, going, you are just going to waste so much time. I have seen technicians uh, that work for us that... You know, they buy the a ten dollar, fifteen dollar multimeter, and they'll be sitting there for two hours because the continuity on it isn't working right, and something is not working that they thought is working. And it's just, just don't do it. Klein uh, makes a couple other cheaper multimeters that if you can't afford one, start out with that because. Uh, I think they're like 30, 40 bucks. They, it's not, they're not clamp meters. This is like their, one of their most expensive ones. Uh, so if you can't afford it, at least get one of those. Don't get a cheap multimeter. Save yourself the headache. Uh, so we'll go over the features. Uh, you have, well, first let's go, comes with the leads. Actually comes with quite a bit. Uh, I don't have all of it here because I've again, all the reviews I do, there's stuff that I've had for years. I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I, I watch reviews that you know are brand new, but I like reviews that are, are a couple years. The person has had them for a couple years. It did not come with this, so don't think uh, this thermocouple. This is just a cheapy thermocouple. Came with a pretty good thermocouple actually. I lost it. <clears throat> um, so don't go off of this. Uh, the reason why this makes a good HVAC and appliance technician motors because it does volts, it does current, so it does amps with your clamp meter, uh, does resistance, continuity, and you can test diodes, does hertz, which you don't really need, microfarads, temperature, and ghost voltage. Which actually comes in a lot of handy. Uh, comes in handy, sorry, uh, when you're working on appliances. Uh, so, start off with the volts. It is a four digit display. Uh, very accurate on the volts. It's for, also on the amps. Uh, you've used this on compressors for air, you know, air conditioning systems, motors, all sorts of stuff great clamp meter the uh, continuity uh, is great then you have your resistance then you have the diodes uh, also this lights up and it has a light underneath the, the clamp too it's kind of you know in dark areas I thought that was pretty cool a lot of clamp meters don't have or a lot of meters don't have that then your Hertz, which you don't really use in our applications. Microfarads, you definitely need, especially if you're doing HVAC, of course. Uh, you also need it for appliances. You'd be working on plenty of, uh, a lot of washers, uh, use uh, capacitors uh, on their motors, especially ASCO. Um, you know, vent hoods use capacitors quite a bit. Uh, you, you just need it. It's great to have. Uh, then, of course, your temperature setting, 
which to use you plug this in just like that and we'll see what the temperature is let's see here um, so it's as you can tell this is not very good don't don't get one of these I did it because I was desperate so it's about it's pretty close actually it's about 72 degrees in my house right now <clears throat> and it's going down uh, use this for ovens uh, refrigerators that their offsets are off sub-zero they you can they're their the temperature can be off a little bit uh, and you need to uh, set it again uh, so take that out then you have your ghost voltage which is great because if you're like me I second guess everything I do when it comes to I don't just test one I don't just test something one time I test it multiple times uh, and having this uh, is great because you you know for sure that that the that there is like no voltage going through it uh so that's about it on the on the uh, on the different settings it's really everything you need uh also the resistance setting also goes up to uh goes really high goes up to uh, let me see here we well, probably can't see it but it, it I've, I've been able to it's worked for everything I've ever needed to like you actually have to have have it on something for it to go to to the uh, milli ohms but uh, also the clamp will hold you know one of your leads stupid thing in there there we go uh so you can you know use your you know test hot and common with that uh i will be getting a no multimeter uh for my birthday uh here soon i'll be getting a fluke uh 87v or 87.5 which is about a 400 dollar multimeter do I need everything it needs on it? No, I don't. But I just want uh, the. I, I'm at a point in my life where I can afford it, and I just want the best equipment I can have for when I'm in the field. Uh, the I will be doing a review on that and a comparison when I do get it. Uh, but that's about it. Like I said, if you're if you're just starting out. Or even if you're an appliance installer and you need a multimeter, this is a great multimeter for the price. Highly, highly recommend. So that's about it, guys. Hit a like, subscribe, please. Uh, have a great day. If y'all ever have any questions, uh, just message me or leave a comment and I will always respond. Thanks.